my beautiful souls i am anmol and welcome back to my channel so on the third episode of sustainable talks i have brought you some few easy steps that you guys can take when you are looking forward for a sustainable wardrobe or you you know get up and be like okay i'll try sustainable fashion and how it goes and how it, and how it's like so i have few easy steps that you guys can try and if you have no idea about sustainable fashion or the impact of fast fashion you can go check out the previous episodes of sustainable fashion and if you like what i do and for constant updates on fashion you can go ahead and subscribe my channel i've also linked the previous episodes of sustainable talks in the description box so to everyone out there who are trying to step up into sustainable fashion and want to change their consumption habits well this video is for all of you guys well all the points that i'm going to discuss with you today are tried and tested on myself first and they've really worked well for me so i hope they reduce a little bit of complications for you too so with this let's get right into the video so if i have to define sustainable fashion in a very compact way i have understood that the word sustainable fashion revolves around three major terms that is first conscious consumption second generating less wastage and third recycling reusing and repurposing already used items now when we jump up to five easy steps towards sustainable fashion you also relate and observe that how these points that we are going to discuss will be a solution to the three broad points which revolve around sustainable fashion so moving on to five easy steps towards a sustainable wardrobe so point number 1 is declutter organize and consume i think this is one of the most crucial step when we are stepping into sustainable fashion now let's understand each term one by one so declutter declutter simply means taking out all the few clothes out from your wardrobe and you'll be surprised how many clothes you had no idea you bought at some point of time so taking out all of that first now decluttering also involves separating the clothes you really wear then uh, separating those you have worn once or twice and separating the ones which are really worn out and you need to replace them now the last step of decluttering is that you take out all the clothes which you no longer really want to wear and that are in good condition and give those clothes or donate those clothes to someone who can really use after decluttering we organize now the major mistake people do is they put the clothes in the hanger which they wear occasionally and dump those clothes in the drawers and shelves which they have to wear daily and we all forget what we own and ultimately that leads to that feeling that we don't have anything to wear so when you organize try to get your occasional wear dry clean and place them properly in bags and put them in shelves and drawers and take out all your shirts pants blouses trousers shirts and etc and start placing them in hangers so that you can see what you own and you can see what you can wear on daily basis now comes the most important point that is consume wear what you buy wear as many times as you can wear it because your consumption habits will first not waste your money and second it will generate less wastage because imagine if you were discarding four to six pieces of clothing every month and now because of your consumption habits you are discarding two to three pieces of clothing every two to three months so it will ultimately lead to less waste generation so point number 2 educate yourself and i'll never stop saying this because you have to learn a lot when you're going sustainable because there are a lot of brands out there who are uh, selling fast fashion tagging them as sustainable so if you don't want to be greenwashed you have to review learn and understand 
the brand before you buy it number three is thrifting and renting out thrifting is basically buying second-hand items that are used cautiously and is a great option if you are specially looking forward for a cost-effective quality shopping even you can contribute to thrift stores and give them your quality clothes which you are tired of wearing or which you have worn once or twice but they look very fresh and new renting out is a great option when you know that you will wear that one particular dress in only that one particular occasion this can be a wedding or a cocktail party and anything like that these two practices have led to slower waste generation and everyone loves it because you can get items at a very negotiable price point number four even fast fashion can be sustainable. Yes, that is true. Even fast fashion can be sustainable, but it depends on how long can you consume it. So every time you buy a fast fashion clothing, always ask yourself these three questions. First, do I need this? Second, do I have any occasion or place where I can wear them? Third, can I wear this garment in at least two different ways? Now, if the garment pass these three questions, you would not only reduce the impact and the pace of fast fashion on the earth, but these questions will always help you to shop smart and to consume what you buy in a sustained way in the future. So don't be afraid of buying low-cost clothing but make sure you wear it rather than just buying it and then throwing it away so the last point is be creative mix and match your pieces don't stick to a particular way of wearing clothes and you'll be so surprised and so happy and so proud of yourselves because of so many new outfits you could make from already existing clothes in your wardrobe so these were five little small steps towards a sustainable wardrobe and if you ask me honestly the game changer for me was organizing my daily wear in hangers and then I have a lot of fun mixing and matching stuff and when it comes to shopping or buying clothing I have moved to homegrown businesses local stores and local markets. so in conclusion always remember consume more discard less and discard slow and these small contributions might really add up to a better life i hope this video helps you in your journey of sustainable fashion and let me know in the comment section below if you try any step or which one was the hardest for you if you love the video go ahead and hit the like button for constant updates on my channel go ahead and subscribe my channel i post a new video every saturday up until next time sending you a lot of happy vibes bye